what's up guys I am doing a tutorial on the 1.9 potions and how you can use commands to get them so yeah it's a little different to 1.8 well actually a lot different and it's a whole lot cooler too so yeah I'm with Izzy the bunny who is hiding in her bunny hole because she's crazy she's my sibling unfortunately no I'm kidding I love her and yeah I'm also not feeling too great today so if I do sound a bit croaky that will be why and yeah hopefully you can still understand me. So I'll get straight into it and I guess we'll get started. Okay so the way you can get... You literally jumped up and it started raining that was so freaky you're like the devil. Okay so the first one is basically how you can get normal potions and those are basically the potions in the creative inventory and all of these ones splash potions lingering potions of the lot and that will give them the proper potion skin the proper potion particles everything the name so the command for that which I'll include down below in the description is slash give nearest play you can do either lingering potion splash potion or just potion you need one of them, this is, well you can change this, this is how many potions it's going to give you and then the damage value which is what we used to use to specify the potion we don't use anymore so that's set as zero. Then right here we've got potion and that's our tag and yeah if you want to use other effects like wither and glowing and levitation they're 1.9 ones then you'll have to use custom potion effects but we're using the normal potions that have the normal skins and this is just the basic. And then right here you have to write the name of the potion and instead of doing things like the duration and stuff like that we just write strong swiftness for swiftness 2 or long so we either just write the name or we write long for the extended and strong for the amplified version so right here I've just given myself a lingering potion of swiftness 2 so it's speed 2 potion of lingering and where is the sibling? come here bunny rabbit we are going to demonstrate how we can run through this beautiful swiftness potion. And yeah, it's just a normal one, it's got the name and everything, it's exactly the same as what we have in here. And you can't change the amplifier or the time used or anything like that. It's just what we get in here. So I'll show you that this works. And when you run through it, you'll go fast, because that's kind of what it does. Okay, so the command I've got in this... Uh, excuse me! She's just like... <laughs> You are hiding everywhere, Izzy the Bunny. You are very mean. But yeah, she's just given me a flipping everything potion to make me fly everywhere. But yeah, this next one here, custom potion effects, is... Whoa, that was a freakish potion. Is where you can do stuff like what she just did. And basically, instead of writing potion, you write custom potion effect. And the reason why we wouldn't just do that for that is because it doesn't give you a certain potion. It just adds the effects. And you have to write down the effect IDs and all stuff like that. So I've got right here a splash potion and I've written custom potion effect. I will put this down below in the description so that you can copy and paste. And if I try and highlight it without it being weird, there we go. Okay, so we have custom potion effects and then right here is where we include them. We can put multiple effects inside but I'm just sticking with the one to explain. Now all of the different effects have a number and I will also put that in the description so that you can check out which potion effects have which number and I've actually got them written down on a piece of paper in front of me so it's really easy for me to see and 25 is levitation so what I've done is I've got an, a levitation potion with amplifier 0 that's basically normal so if I were to write amplifier 1 it would actually give me levitation 2 which I don't even know if it's like different to normal levitation but yeah and then duration is basically the time that it lasts for in ticks I'm pretty sure I don't even know what it is but 200 gives me roughly 10 seconds so I'm guessing like 20 is one second or something like that and because when it, I just give this to myself it'll give me a it'll be called water bottle and it's pretty boring so I've given it a name levitation potion so when I grab this it will give me a splash potion as you can see here it's called levitation potion and it's red because levitation is considered a debuff so as you can see you've got slowness is red the good ones are blue so yeah I wonder if um what's it called well, we'll see in a second whether they think glowing the spectral effect is going to be a debuff oh hello villager you won't be able to see that yeah if that's a debuff or a buff but yeah I'll show you this levitation potion it lasts for 10 seconds and if I 
splash this on myself. I just levitate. I can't get down if I shift or anything. I'm going to have to drink a milk bucket. And I just flew, so that's why I paused, just so you know, it's not part of the effect. And yeah, you can walk around while you're up there. It's not, you're not completely stuck. You can run around, but you can't go down no matter what you do. So I guess it would be pretty bad because you can lose a lot of health if it lasts for a long time. And if you drink a milk bucket, it will go away as usual. Or if, you know, it decides to finish before you. Yeah, and you can, because I've got in a splash potion, I can put it on other things, which is what I'm going to do with my test subject here. It will make him float up, and he can't do anything about it. I can punch him and he floats away a bit, but he can't come down, he can't do anything. And he might die of fall damage. Or not. Yeah. So that is basically a quick overview of the custom potion effects, but I'm going to show you a few other things you can do. A strength 2 potion. Oh! But I'm in creative! Or did you, did you turn me to survival? What? Oh my goodness! What did you do? What is this? Poison. You poison me while I'm trying to explain to people. Okay, shh. You like that? Oh, she looks so happy. <laughs> Grim Reaper Rapid Power <laughs> Rabbit Reaper Power You just died of like your own thing the next thing I'm going to show you is adding multiple things and also using the hide flags tag. So I'm going to make a potion that's a normal potion, not a splash one, like so. And the potion effects, I'm going to add strength, speed, and jump boost. So what I have to do is I have to get this thing right here, like that, and I have to make several of them. So if I just add a comma, comma and then add another one, and another one, then I've got three things right here that I can include different effects in. So let's make this one over here jump boost, which is eight. Let's make this one here speed, which is one. And the last one can be strength, which is five. Now I'm going to make my strength, I'm going to make it really strong. So I'm going to do 200 amplifier and that's not gonna look very nice I'll show you what it mean in a second and then speed can be huge again I'm gonna do another 200 and then let's make jump boost not too much because I do want to land on the ground at some point so let's just make it 10 and if I don't add the hide flags tag it's gonna look kind of weird so I'll show you that I'm just gonna change the name because I don't want it to be called that and this is giving me oh Excuse me, what even has just happened? I can't even walk, this is crazy, go away, I'm actually gonna kill you. Okay, so if I drink this potion, it's got strength 10, speed 10, then jump boost potion, and then it's got dot potency, and it looks really, really ugly. And uh, I think I did the um, <laughs> numbers too high, because it's got like minus. So I'm gonna, excuse me. I need like splash milk potions so I can get rid of her effects and stuff. I think I'm gonna have to change these a little. So amplifier 10. Let's tone these amplifiers down a little. Whoops. So the first one is 10. Let's make this one, yeah I made it 20. And let's make this one 22 so it's not too crazy because it doesn't seem to like it. There we go. Oh, it's just, is that just me or does that change colour? I'm pretty sure that changed colour. But now it's got potion dot potent potency and it looks like really weird. So when I drink this, it will give me jump boost for 8 seconds, speed for 8 seconds and strength as well. And it's like really fast. But it does look kind of ugly. So that's what the hide flags thing is for. So if I add that after this, hide flags. And I need to add a certain value. So for enchantments, it'll be a 1. 
for attribute modifiers it'll be a 2, for unbreaking it's a 4, and for potions it's actually going to be 32, which is other. So that could be a lot of different tags. And yeah, I'll put these values down below in the description as well so that you can have a look at them. And if you want to hide more than one, you just add up their values. So let's say I wanted to hide enchantments too, I would add 1 to this, so it would be 33. So now when I give myself this potion, it gives me crazy potion, but I don't know what it does. So I guess you can use this to your advantage as something like a crazy potion that could be a buff, could be a debuff, and they won't know till they drink it. So I'm going to drink this, and it will give me the same effects as before, but you can't see them because the hide flags tag is activated. I'm now going to quickly show you the glowing effect, and basically what glowing effect is, it's spectral, so I'll show you that on the villagers in a second, and I'm actually going to call this spectral po potion, even though it's the glowing effect, I guess I could call it a glowing potion, but yeah. So I'm going to go into these effects here, I don't really want these other ones, like that, and I want... I reckon 200 is a pretty good like, duration. And then one zero on the amplifier, and the ID for this is 24. So now when I step on... You are very annoying sometimes. She All she wants to do is jump and never land. That actually looks so cool. We look like Superman taking off. Okay, so when I get this, it's going to give me a spectral potion, which gives me the glowing effect for 10 seconds. So when I drink this... As you can see, I am fleeping growing. No, I'm not growing. <laughs> I'm going to shoot this villager here, and he's also going to get... Oh, he died. <laughs> he died. <laughs> this is not funny. I'm going to attempt to shoot this villager again, and hopefully he won't die. Alright. He is now glowing, and basically when I go the other side of this, I'll still be able to see him. He's like... Yeah, he's basically x-ray visioned, and can you, you are just making it rain potions. And it lasts for... did I just... oh no, I spectral shot him. So with a spectral arrow, and basically he just got the glowing potion effect. And I'll show you that in here. If I change this now to a splash potion, and I splash him with this effect, it will give him basically the same as the spectral arrow does. So I'll go in here and hope that I don't jump on the way there, because I've been... Wow. Yeah, so he is now... Oh my god, I can't even do anything. <laughs> yeah, so I've given him the glowing effect, and it's exactly the same as the spectral arrows. And yeah, you can change the duration for as long as you want, so that's a good thing about having this. And if I go in here, let's change this to, like, lots of nines. That gives me a splash spectral potion that lasts for 83 minutes, and oops... Thank you. I have enough milk though, thank you. I could have drunk it, but I'm not exactly that smart. So if I splash him with this, he's pretty much going to be glowing forever. Like, we'll never lose this guy. So, that is the glowing potion effect, I guess. So like I said before, you can use levitation to your advantage, I guess, and what I've made here is like an elevator, and basically in here I've got some levitation potions that go for 14 seconds, which is just about enough for to get me up here, yeah, onto this ledge here. So what I do is I just walk on here and it's going to splash me and then I just kind of float up just about to the right height and then I jump down. And it's actually pretty cool so I guess that doesn't make it a debuff. And you can use commands to do that. I guess you could also make it a command block right here that gives you the effect for that long. But yeah, I've used potions here and if you want to see my crazy redstone skills, let's have a look here. This is my version of trying to power it with redstone and it just like goes crazy. But yeah, I've basically just powered this from the little pressure plate thing here and it just splashes you and you, move, and you can move up like an elevator. So that is awesome. Alright, I'm going to show you tipped arrows now and I also have a really cool potion just here that I can show you afterwards. But I'll move on to tipped arrows, and basically that's in the combat section. You can see all of these potion effect arrows, and yeah, you just want to get potion effects on them with commands. So if I go in here, you can either do potion command like that on a tipped arrow, or you can do custom potion effects. Now, if you do potion, it will give you like the exact arrow with jump boost 2 or 
the same color and everything. But when you do these ones, it tends to be, if I can find one, like a lighter version of this. It's like a really white. So right here we have 25, which is levitation. Duration 120. So basically right here I have an arrow that will make whatever I shoot float into the sky. So if I give myself this, I have an arrow of splashing and it's got levitation on it. It does say zero, I think that's a bit of a bug, but it will make him float for more than zero seconds, obviously. So if I put this up here, which I think it'll suit first if it's in here, and I make my spectral villager float away. And there you go, he's floating away. And he seems so happy, he's floating to heaven. And he died. <laughs> oh, he died. I feel so bad now. Okay, so I can put more than one effect on here, I think, and I can also make normal potions, so they'll be exactly the same as this, so it'll be like long strength, or strong strength, or long po poison. And yeah, they'll be exactly the same as these arrows. So let's say I want my victim to be poisoned and to float away into the sky majestically. I'll have to change this, I'll probably make it a bit longer, and that's levitation, and then we're going to add another effect. I think, yeah, I still got this saved. Okay, I'm also going to give him poison, which is 19. And then the amplifier, I'm going to make it poison 2, or poison 3. That means that seems even eviler. That means that when they land, they will always die, because they've just been poisoned and drained to half a heart. And the duration is also going to be 200, because I want them to want it to last the same amount as the duration of the floating. So when I give this to myself, I get an arrow splashing that's all tinted strange coloured. And it says levitation for one second and poison three for one second. It's going to be longer than one second. Again, that's a strange bug. And yeah, I can also give myself a stack of these by changing this at the start to 64. So there you go. I've just gone in a ton of arrows. And another thing you might want to do, you can also add the hide flags tag but I don't want to because it looks pretty nice in my opinion and I'm also going to add the display tag so display I'm going to add the name which will be let's call them I'm just going to call them poison arrows like this and then I'm going to add a law like that one second and let's call them floaty death because they are like that and can you like get out of my face whoa oh I see Superman let's grab these and I'll put those up there so we've just gotten poison arrows that cause floaty death apparently and I'm gonna get a few test subjects let's get a few villagers and when I shoot him he's gonna get as you can see he's poisoned as he's floating up to the sky and as he falls he hopefully he's gonna die the moment he lands because he's been drained to half a heart and they obviously won't die in the air because poison only drains you to half a heart so they'll float as high as they can and then they'll fall and they will die that's how kind I am last one and he's dead so they are pretty cool arrows okay so I think I pretty much thoroughly explained these kind of commands and I wanted to do one last command and that's going to be the kind of a really cool potion so it's a splash potion as you can see right here and it's got custom potion effects and it's giving you speed at amplifier 40 so that's pretty huge I'm going to actually increase it to 60 because that's even cooler duration of 150 ticks and then it's also got the effect 9 which is actually nausea so we've got those two right there it's hiding the flag so you don't know what it does and it's also called coca-cola and the law is hyperactivity so I'll put this command for this down below in the description so that you can have coca-cola and what are you doing you calling it hypo drink sugar yeah so if I go into game mode esque I don't even know why because it's not affecting my health and I have got nausea so whenever you stop you're like whoa sugar rush and you just run around like crazy because you are crazy coca-cola sugar speed zoom oh I got poison arrows let's go crazy
So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And remember, all of the commands will be down below in the description. So you can copy and paste them, save a few of them, all of that stuff. And yeah, if you need any help, don't forget to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help. And I guess I'll see you next video.